an overview of the Comanche native Texan tribe. The Comanche are originally from the mountains of New Mexico, where they were a very impoverished tribe, similar to the Coahuiltecans. But when they gained access to the horse, they were able to push into the Great Plains and the North Central Plains, all the way down to the Balcones Escarpment. By pushing off other tribes, they were able to gain this large territory here, known as Comancheria, one of the largest Native American territories ever. As the Great and North Central Plains are very flat and expansive, the Comanche needed to be nomadic in order to follow their main prey, the buffalo. This image shows them in a hilly area, but you know that's probably incorrect. As a nomadic society, they needed houses that allowed them to move quickly as they continued to follow the buffalo, so the teepee was perfect for them. Animal skins and animal fat, which allowed for weatherproofing, allowed the teepee to be a very versatile and useful housing for the Comanche. Here's some facts about them. There is no other group in world history who are as, as great warriors on the horse as the Comanche. It was a central part of their culture. Young men had to learn how to ride the horse at a very, very early age. Women sometimes would even give birth on the horse. And horses were ridden for several days at a time, swapping them out in order to travel extremely long distances very, very quickly. These are apex buffalo hunters, the best of the best. When you think of buffalo hunters, think of the Comanche. There's a very crucial part of their culture, as you can see from this buffalo headdress this gentleman's wearing over here. One of the last Native American tribes to be pushed onto a reservation were the Comanche, and in fact, underneath Quanah Parker, they're perhaps the last. And it's a, a source of pride for them that they stood out so long before they were eventually defeated by the U.S. Army. This defeat happens in Palo Duro Canyon underneath Quanta Parker, but he will later on go on to make a lot of efforts to keep peace between his people and the American settlers. Where are they now? Well, they are in Oklahoma and on a similar reservation, well, in fact, the same reservation as their longtime enemy, the Apache, and the Kiowa. There are still some other reservations they're on, but this is where the most of them are located today.